Now, the legal struggles for former U.S. President Donald Trump, they continue to mount. In the latest, Trump appeared in front of an appeals court in Washington, D.C. A panel of three judges heard arguments over Trump's claim. Now, the claim is that as a former president, he should be immune from prosecution. Right after his immunity hearing got over, Trump addressed the reporters outside the court. He said that he did nothing wrong and he is being treated differently than others. So you can't have a president uh, without immunity. You have to have, as a president, you have to be able to do your job. But if this didn't work out, if I wasn't given immunity, then other presidents, when we talked about today, uh, President Obama with the drone strikes, which were very bad, uh, they were mistakes, terrible mistakes. Uh, you can't put a, uh, you really can't put a president in that position. So I think most people understand it, and we feel very confident that eventually, uh, hopefully at this level, but eventually we win. A president has to have immunity. And the other thing is I did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. During his address, he also talked about how he could prosecute Joe Biden if he returns to the White House. If I don't get immunity, then crooked Joe Biden doesn't get immunity. And all of the things he's done to allow the border invasion, millions and millions of people coming into our country, many from prisons, jails, mental institutions, insane asylums, many terrorists coming into our country, that's really allowing insurrection. Trump is facing charges that he conspired to overturn the 2020 elections in the U.S. Trump, was, Trump has pleaded not guilty to all the charges. That includes conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy against the right to vote. The Republican frontrunner for the 2024 presidency listened quietly to the hour-long arguments as his lawyer continued to say that former presidents should not be prosecuted for the actions they took while in office. However, the judges appear to be skeptical to the argument. A Biden appointee judge even tried to riddle Trump's attorney through his own arguments when she asked whether a president could be criminally prosecuted if they order the assassination of a political rival by special forces. But Trump's attorney insisted that even in this case, the president can only be prosecuted if first impeached and convicted by the U.S. Congress. Last month, U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin rejected his immunity claim. On the 4th of March, Trump is scheduled to go on trial for federal charges of election subversion. Now for more on this, we earlier spoke to our correspondent Susan Tehrani, who explains how this is projected to play out going forward. Listen to this. The U.S. Supreme Court on Friday agreed to review a politically explosive decision by Colorado's high court to keep former President Donald Trump off its primary ballots. The Supreme Court set a swift schedule starting oral arguments on February 8th. They could reach a decision shortly after that, considering the fact that March 5th is Super Tuesday, which is when Colorado and more than a dozen other states start their primaries and caucuses. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden kickstarted his reelection campaign in Pennsylvania on Friday, not by defending his record, in the White House during the past few years, but instead criticizing former President Donald Trump, who will likely be his Republican contender in 2024 for being a danger to democracy. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is What. While the judges in D.C. indicated deep skepticism of Donald Trump's argument, the former president may actually benefit from this hearing. His team's goal is more about delaying the trial, which is set to start on March Fourth, just one day before Super Tuesday, than actually winning the argument. Ultimately, they can also appeal all the way to the Supreme Court, which will also likely delay the matter. The former president has made no secret of his desire to delay these trials, preferably after the 2024 presidential 
elections where he may win the White House, be able to pardon himself or ask his Justice Department to pardon him.